Hey, what up, guys? It's Grim. We are back in Clash of Kings mod. How you doing, everybody? What's up? So last time, we uh, got our ass kicked by Tyrosh. It was unpleasant. But we got Sweet Bloody Vengeance. And now all is good again. We are fighting him back. We're about to take out Lys this time. If you don't know anything about Lys, it's where whores are trained. That's about all I know about it. They learn the ways of the seven sighs. Whatever the fuck that means. It means they're good at banging. Anyway, <laughs> hey, how you doing, everybody? What's up? So we gotta take out some motherfuckers. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. You're running, you outnumber me. Why are you running from me, you penis? Get back here. You can see my shit. Get back here. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Prince Melon Melanie. You have a girl's name, Prince Melanie. You're stupid. Fucking die. Alright, anyway. Let's stretch these bitches. While we talk about episode 9, season 4 of Game of Thrones. Best episode of the season. Possibly best episode of the fucking series. I fucking loved it. It was the shit, man. Fucking loved it. Ah! Some people might complain, oh, it was just on the wall. That's all that happened. Fuck that. Dude, a lot of shit happened at the fucking wall. Seriously, I... This is what the show is missing, in my opinion. This is what the show is missing. These huge-ass fucking battles, you know? I'm glad that Game of Thrones finally has the budget to facilitate these gigantic-ass battles because there's so many of them. They really don't show them, but they had to show this one, and I thought, man, they fucking pulled that shit off in great fucking fashion. I love it. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's been a long... We've been battling quite a bit for uh, quite some time against these lazy motherfuckers and the Mirish and the Pentoshi and the Norvosi and there's still Tyroshi about. Volantines are dead. Anyway, this episode, I fucking loved it. I just watched it again for the second time. I I watched the episodes like three times a week. <laughs> so good though. Before we get into it, uh, uh, before I watched it initially, I watched it with my brother and his wife. They were like, why is Jon Snow so boring? He's so boring lately. I was like, dude, he's not going to be boring this episode. And guess what? He fucking wasn't. He was a total fucking badass, and that is the Jon Snow I don't fucking love. All right, at the beginning, uh, let's see. What, what the fuck are they talking about? Um, John and Sam are watching the shit, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna die. It sucks. What's it like to bang a girl, Jon Snow?" Oh fuck me, really? You're a cocksucker. Oh well, I guess this will give me an opportunity to actually fucking talk without fighting people. And uh, Sam wanted to know what it was like to kill or uh, bang a bitch before you know he died because. Everyone on the wall is pretty sure they're fucked. It's a hundred versus a hundred thousand. It's unbelievable fucking odds, and nobody thinks they're gonna live. And John's like, oh, I don't know, fuck. And you know how do you, how do you describe the whole act of uh, the sex making? You know, Jesus, my guys are getting their ass kicked. It's these damn, it's these guys, these axemen. They're fucking menace. These Lysini axemen are such a pain in my ass, and they have thousands of them. I swear. Anyway, so yeah, that's how the episode started. And <laughs> poor Sam. Get, how can you not love Sam? Is my question. Anyone who doesn't like Sam at this point, what is wrong with you, man? Have you no, have you no heart? The, he's such a fool in love. He just wants Gilly to be okay, and he's so in love with her. He's like reading up on the terrible things wildlings do to people that they capture and stuff. She was, she was in Molestown. Molestown was attacked by Thens. Thens eat people. They eat the people they kill. So he's all heartbroken. They had that big spiel, or Sam and Amon Targaryen. I thought that was great. <laughs> and I like how got all sassy with Sam. Like, is it so hard that an old man was once in love? <laughs> it's so hard to believe. So I was like, no, sorry. <laughs> Pretty much put him in his place there. Okay. Anyway, that was cute. Gilly showed up, and it was, it was heart wrenching. There was a lot of heart wrenching er, scenes in this episode, despite being just this gigantic fucking battle the entire time. It was pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. I do like at the beginning where it's, they're preparing for the battle. The uh, the wildlings are upon him from the southern flank. Let me tell you about the uh, the all of the fortresses along the wall. Okay. Uh, now to the north. All these fortresses are damn near impregnable because there's a giant ass wall in between them and everything that would do them harm, you know. But from the south, they are specifically designed not to be able to be defended from the south. That is a glaring weakness of the Night's Watch. They cannot be defended from the south. And this is done on purpose because there have been points, I mentioned this in the books, that there have been points in the history of the Night's Watch where they have just said, you know, fuck the Seven Kingdoms, we're doing our own thing from now on. And because of that, they... Make it so these all these fortresses, Castle Black included, cannot be defended from the south properly from like an invading force. So just in case they do try to rebel, you know, the king of the north can be like, hey, fuck you, get back in line, and they can just come over and fuck shit up, you know. So when the wildlings attack from the south, they're pretty fucked. Even though it wasn't that big of a force, it was still a pretty sizable force, and it was the Thens, which are probably the best trained of the wildlings. Like in the books, they describe them as having like bronze. They have like bronze weapons. Most of the wildlings are fighting with like bones and wood clubs and just scrub ass weapons. No, the things are like the most organized group of the whole lot of them. So that was very bad, and it pretty much showed at the beginning of the episode that the Night's Watch were getting their asses kicked. I do love the little back and forth between Sam and um, Pip when they were firing off crossbow bolts. <laughs> it does bring up an interesting conversation though. That 
that conversation they had where uh, Pip was like, Sam, aren't you scared? And like, bloody fucking right, I'm scared. There's a bunch of wildlings coming to kill us. Of course I'm scared. And, you know, this is the difference between young and old men, wise men and not so wise men, is that uh, fear does serve a purpose, okay? To not be afraid is foolish, okay? This, this is what I think, okay? You can't be brave unless you are afraid, okay? And those that aren't afraid are just fucking foolish. That's just the fact of the matter. I can't believe I got killed so early in this bitch. So when you're being hunted by a bunch of wildlings and you say you're not afraid, you're full of shit. Okay, of course you're fucking afraid. Jesus Christ. And if you're not, well, you're not really brave then, are you? Did you get them, boys? Boys? Did you get them? Very nice. That's my opinion on that. Okay. The fight scenes. And then the fucking... Yeah, all the wildlings just go over the walls. They're killing shit. Egret is murdering everyone left and right. Here's something I want to point out. Alistair Thorne. Everybody hates him. This goes without question. Everybody fucking hates that guy. Uh, yeah. Go get him, boys. We had three casualties? Really? From two mounted Lysenny archers? What the fuck? God damn it. You guys suck. Anyway, love him or hate him, he is a pretty good leader. Up until he got his ass kicked by Tormund Giants Bane. And, uh, well, he was kind of out of commission. Then, the Night's Watch pretty much had no leaders until Jon Snow entered the fray. Total badass. That is why I love Jon Snow. Because he knows what needs to be done. Man, we getting our asses kicked. Alright, but enough of that. We gotta go to Lys. Hopefully we don't get into a naval battle along the way. I really hope that does not happen. Here's something else I want to get into. Tormund Giantsbane, while we're on the subject. He is seriously one of my favorite fucking characters in the book. And they do not do him justice in the show at all. Not at fucking all, man. Like he has all these great stories that are complete bullshit, but they're hilarious at the same time. And he almost gets into one this episode with Egret's like, shut the fuck up with your stupid fucking stories. I'm like, fuck you, I want to hear his stories. His stories are so good. Seriously, he makes you want to be a wildling. That's how badass he is. Are you guys going to come at me? You're coming at me, you son of a bitch. Why are you coming at me? I outnumber you. Yeah, I kill all of you motherfuckers. We'll fight you to the end, you son of a bitch. Seriously, I... Oh my god, fuck you. You think you'd take me? We have some health back. Yeah, barely any. Uh, I'm glad we're not in a naval battle, though. Anyway, Torbjorn Giants, he's like one of my favorite characters, though, and he kicked Alistair Thorne's ass, which just... I, I love that. <laughs> Gotta love that shit. Oh god, they're charging me. Oh, oh man. No couch land stands. We don't need that shit. Back off, man. Anyway! <laughs> so, that was a thing. <sighs> man, what else? Fucking... Lots of leaders were made this episode, and lots of leaders died this episode. In times of crisis, that's when a man's true character is made and is shown, revealed to the world. And there was a lot of brave men in the Night's Watch this day. Like the five that went down to battle that giant. Holy shit, down at the gate? That was a fucking great scene where they're just scared shitless to praying to all of their gods. And like, fuck this. They recite their vows right as the... I wish they would have shown it. I can understand why they couldn't show because, you know, those giants were great, by the way. I love how they did giants. I imagine they're just CGI, though. It would be hard to choreograph a fight scene with CGI. And if, even if you do pull it off, it looks kind of cheesy, I think. Just judging from, like, I don't know, the ones I have seen. What, what are some CGI fights? Like... They had CGI fights in the, what, what was that? What was that one movie with Angelina Jolie played a demon? And, uh, oh, it was a Viking movie, I can't remember. Uh, fucking, just CGI fights look cheesy. I guess I'm glad they didn't show it, because it leaves a little bit to the imagination. Whatever. That was a badass scene. I was pumped. So, just an emotional roller coaster. This entire episode, I fucking loved it. <laughs> I can, I'm just going to gush this entire episode. Let's get to Egret. And then Jon Snow, he's, he's killing shit along the wall. Let me tell you what was going on on top of the wall during that entire siege. Uh, in the book, they knew they were outnumbered. They, well, they knew they were outnumbered in the show, but they didn't really do much about it. But in the book, what they did was they actually made dummies on top of the wall. Just because, you know, the wildlings can't see that far up on the wall. And so they made a bunch of dummies just to make it appear that they had more numbers than they actually did. And it was pretty hilarious because, you know, uh, every so often a stray arrow would come up at them and hit the dummy. <laughs> they just laugh it off. All the boys on the wall. Because if you're in that situation, there's nothing more you can do than just laugh, you know? But they didn't show it in the show, and I don't mind. It's not that big of a thing. What? Okay, book versus show. In the show, they didn't get to this battle for the longest fucking time. It's super annoying. But in the books, it happened, like, as soon as Jon Snow got back. I better take this motherfucker out. As soon as Jon Snow got... What the fuck? Oh. Oh, really? Is that so? Tell me more, Beringer Perrin. I don't care. We're trying to kill these people, okay, buddy? Okay? Is that all right with you? Can we kill these sons of bitches? Fucking die, nerds. Okay, lead the troops. Oh, we're we supposed to charge. Damn it. Okay, I, I always forget how to do this shit. Okay, movement orders. Everybody fucking charge. Go, go, man. Do you need a pep talk? It's called kill these assholes before they kill us, okay? In the name of the Lizard King, go! We need to siege Liz and get rid of these assholes once and for all. So get to it, motherfuckers. What the fuck was I talking about? Damn it, no, I lost my train of thought. Books versus show. Okay, yeah, Jon Snow, as soon as he got back, 
from being with the wildlings, the fight was upon them, and they just delayed it for the longest time in the show, and it was really annoying, but, you know, whatever. I understand why they want to build it up, because it was a super epic episode. Ah, anyway, let's see. Okay, and, okay, 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 and then the whole, uh, when Egret, Egret and Jon Snow finally, gee, oh, you hurt my horse, you dick, who's that? Kill this man, kill this man! <laughs> and Egret and Jon Snow, when they saw each other, oh, I won't lie, I got a little teary-eyed during that part, I will not lie, I'm not afraid to admit it, I, I was very close to shedding a single manly tear when Egret took an arrow to the chest. Ah, that was so fucking sad! John, John Snow held her in his arms and her last words were, you know nothing, John Snow. Ah! So heart-wrenching! Egret, no! I knew it was happening, but I knew it was going to happen, but it was still just so heartbreaking to see it. Ah! I think it was, they did a really good job there, I won't lie. I, I think I was more broken up in the show than in the books. I was super broken up in the books, cause it was brand new to me, and it made me super sad to see Egret go, because that was Jon Snow's girl! And she, she was quite fetching. Well, not so much in the books, but in the show. She was crazy hot. But, uh, ah, poor Egret. <sighs> Another thing, okay, here's the one part. Just one small complaint. Like, the wildlings that are south, that are invading Castle Black, like, they don't really show a conclusion to the fight after that. All they really show is that uh, Jon Snow gets the Castle Black from back Back from when he was on the wall, he busts out ghosts, and then it cuts away for a minute, and then they come back, and the battle down there is over. It's, it's almost like they're implying that all they needed was a dire wolf to win this battle. And that is not how it happened in the book at all. Um, what happened in the book was that they had completely gotten their asses stomped down at Castle Black, because, you know, uh, previously mentioned, they can't defend the keep from the south, you know? It's fucking... It's just a design flaw, you know? And what happened was they got their asses kicked. They had to retreat to the... Uh, the scaffolding that goes up to the wall, or, uh, there's, like, two ways to get on top of the wall, you know, there's, uh, there's the lift itself, and there's, uh, some stairs that are actually built into the wall, and what they did was, uh, they had to retreat back to the top of the wall, there was no way around it, they were just getting their ass kicked too much, and so they waited for when the wildlings were pursuing them, and, like, damn near were, all of them were on the stairs themselves, or, like, about to climb up the stairs, and once they saw that, they collapsed the stairs, and it effectively just killed the rest of them. And they didn't do that in the show, they just kind of implied, you know, one dire wolf is all you need to take on a bunch of wildlings. Though admittedly, uh, Ghost is probably the most badass dire wolf ever. But, once again, he's not gonna win a battle. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Still awesome. Can we take this fucking city now? Let's take fucking lists. Fuck these assholes. They have almost 600 people. Should I really be doing this? I don't think I should be doing this. We're gonna fucking do it anyway, because, you know what? Yellow swag, I just don't give a fuck. I'm all fired up from watching that episode. I'm ready to kill some shit. Fuck yeah, let's do it! I wonder how this place is gonna look. I'm kinda excited. Oh, it's the same as Sunspear. Boring. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. A little disappointing. This is supposed to be a fucking island, a tropical paradise. You know, I see no palm tree. Oh, wait, I see one palm tree. I see it. They're in the background. Jesus! What's with all the spears? I might have to hang back this entire fight. I'm probably gonna die being. I, I have so little help. Stop shooting me, you dicks! Get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house! This is your house, but it's about to be. Ow! Fucking dick! Don't hit me with your maze! I take damage when you hit me with your maze, you fucking prick! One damage, you asshole! Die! Oh, oh, unsullied friend, I will help you. Fucking axe, man. Got so many people to kill. Jesus, age, man. Anyway, oh. So that was, that was what happened with, uh, show versus book. Um, what happened with the siege, the actual siege on top of the wall was that, uh, oh god, don't hit, oh god, don't, 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 don't kill me. Fucking dick. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Gonna die, gonna die. Boys, get some help! Boys! <laughs> Boys! Need some help. Don't, don't fucking do it. Fuck. I'm Ill our army is ill-equipped to handle these axemen, man. These axemen are the worst. Okay, we have a lot of shields. That's kind of our thing. And these axes do extra damage to our shields. You know what? I'm gonna hide in my safety spot. Let's hide on this tower because I need as much health for the ongoing siege. Oh, my God. I, I keep losing my train of thought. These damn lights in here. Turn out these major assholes, man. Okay, let's just watch from up here. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Um, they won, but the fight on top of the wall is far from over. They are still heavily outnumbered. There's tons, tons of wildlings still north of the wall. They're sieging the bitch. And it is, it's pretty much in, no one gets any sleep on the Night's Watch anymore. They're either A, manning the wall, shooting arrows and throwing barrels of pitch and shooting their iron scorpions 24-7. It's either that or they're actually uh, making arrows in order to friggin' kill the wildlings. Nobody gets no rest. Okay. And some they didn't do at the very end of the episode, what they did is Jon Snow's like, you know what, we can't do, we can't hold out for very long in this situation, okay, we are going to die. I need to go meet with Mance. And that isn't how it happened in the book, but I 
kind of wondering if future events are going to change because there was a definitive conclusion to the siege in the book that they may or may not do in the show. I'm not sure. We may find out next episode. I don't know. There's still so much they have to go over in this last episode. They really dragged out the season and now they have one episode left this season. They have to get all of it in in this one fucking episode and it totally blows that they did it that way. Uh, can we get some reinforcements? Reinforcements? We... Oh, they now arrived? You just now arrived? Come on, boys! They're fucking... Oh my god. Uh, we're about to lose some ground here. <laughs> okay, guys. You need to hold them off right there, okay? I'll be the commander, but I will not actually fight because I have no health. Boys, put on your running shoes. You need to enter the fray. Quickly! Who, who are we coming up there? Okay, we still have tons of heavy knives. That's good. Get up, boys! I will be up here yelling at you. You know, keeping morale high. Jesus, so many spears being thrown still. Ah, oh, this sucks. I hate it when I have to do this. I have to just sit idly by watching my boys do all the work while I stand here with my thumb up my ass. I have no health! Lizard King! You need to work out more. You learn to parry. <laughs> I don't do that nearly enough. Parry! It's that, this move. Yeah, do that. You should do that more often. <laughs> ah, still great fucking episode. I can't think of a better episode than this. This is definitely my favorite one so far. Lots of ups and downs, highs and lows. So, so fucking good. This is gonna go on for a while. Mind if I skip this? I'm asking like you're gonna answer me. I'm gonna skip the rest of this, okay? Well, it seems we have gotten our asses stomped. Fuck! How are there so many of them? Yeah, we're not getting any more reinforcements. Uh, it's time to bounce. We need retreats! <laughs> Retreat! Uh, oh my god. God, we, that was, that's like all my dudes. Oh, we barely killed any of them, too. Son of a bitch. Abandon the siege. Oh, no. No, they're playing sad music. Oh, my God. One of 142. We need to bounce, man. We need to bounce. We may be boned. Uh... Nobody attack me, nobody attack me, nobody attack me, nobody attack me, nobody attack me! I told you not to do that! Fucking asshole! You have... Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh no! Just little old me, huh? Can I retreat? Yeah, let's retreat. <laughs> oh damn it, I can't! Ah, okay, well, this is a thing. Um... Lizard King might be fucked, gentlemen. It is entirely possible. Son of a bitch, really? <laughs> Such a dick. Oh no, six damage! I'm fucked! I'm totally fucking fucked! No! 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 God damn it, I think, I think the Lizard King is about to be captured. The Lizard King bit off more than he could chew. It seems the Lizard King is fucked once again. Damn it, I've been getting my ass kicked lately. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're all after me. No, 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 stay away. No, no, back off. No, you evil, evil fucking men. Why do you gotta have patrols around here, man? That's such a dick move. Come on. Oh my god, just stop scurrying about you tickles i will take out as many as i possibly can i can't believe we got our ass sanded to us so badly do not shoot me bro oh my god this is not this i don't even know why i'm trying i'm going to die i took out three yeah you fucking prick ow you fuck oh no my horse not my horse you dick Oh no, we're going very slow. Oh my god. Horsekins, you are fucked. Horsekins, we need a horse. We cannot defeat these evil men without a horse. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, I needed that horse. Not shoot me. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. Okay, give me your horse. 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 Come on. Get back here. Get back here before my horse dies, you dicks. I hate you all. I hate you, Lysini fuckers, so much. Give me your horse! <laughs> I want your horse. <laughs> fucking ass. No, you stay away. You assholes stay away. <laughs> I fucking hate you. No, no, no! <laughs> stay away from my horsey. <laughs> He's going so slow. My horsey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! Horsey! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I will kill you all, you rat bastards. You do not hit me with your axe. 
fucking team. No, 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 no! Lizard King has fallen again, sad face. Damn it. Anyway, we're prisoner now. Oh my god, look at all the gold I lost! No. No. Anyway, well, I guess it's a good time to call it an episode, huh? Next time. Next time, hopefully I escape. And hopefully they didn't jack too much of my shit. Can, can you let me go? Can you let me go already? Can you please let me go? Come on, man. Come on. Oh, I can't believe I'm the... Yay, we escaped! Yay! Did they take anything of mine? They probably took... What did they take? What did they take? Okay, they didn't take anything. Ex ah, this sucks! <laughs> anyway, I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Laters.